Greetings automotive enthusiasts, off on another Tales from the Trip. Uh, this one's only about, uh, I don't know, five, six miles from the house. Uh, no idea, it's gonna be interesting to what I'm fixing to see. Um, this one's, uh, it's a, <laughs> a lead from uh, Becky's hairdresser. So this will be interesting. All I know is that it's a 1967 Cadillac. <laughs> That's all I know about it. Driving the Boxster here. Oh, gotta love that sound. But uh, yeah, so this is gonna be an interesting one. Uh, not that far from the house. An older gentleman, I think, he's had this car a long time. And uh, I'm really curious. I, I've known about this car for quite some time, and uh, I've just never really um, coordinated time to check it out. So I'm on the way, I guess, to a storage unit and to see this. 67 Cadillac. So this one's kind of a potluck <laughs> tales from the trip. Don't know exactly what I'm going to look at, but that makes it kind of fun. So here in just a few minutes, we will be at the storage, just really close to my house. So stay tuned. This one is going to be interesting. All right, here we go. Just pulled in and. Uh, gentleman's waiting for me at the entrance so here we go storage units they're a lot of fun I always like storage units you never know like a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> uh, I don't even know exactly what it is I'm looking at it's a 67 Cadillac two-door coupe. Two -door coupe oh coupe de, coupe de Ville Bob this is my best friend Nate Rico hey Rico how you doing buddy hey nice to yeah, see you Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm ready for the unveiling here. <laughs> oh my goodness, check that out. Big old stacked headlights. 42,000 miles. 42,000 miles, huh? I've been trying to start it, but we're having a little issue. I'm not sure if it's an alternator. Oh, yeah? Yeah, keep it just, around. Is it just dead, or? No. It looks like the battery's dead, but we take the battery over it. Really? Interesting. How long have you had this car? Since the military, what, 1970? Oh my goodness, Hang you're on, kidding me. Oh, you're back here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So, it, how original is this car? All original. All original? My goodness. All original. My goodness. So. Look at that. It smells like an old car, don't it? <laughs> it? Oh, you gotta love those cars. Look at that. Yeah, wow. Where did the car come from? You know, in my in the neighborhood. Uh huh. I took care of it for a really good friend of mine. He passed away. I asked the family if they wanted it. Uh huh. And um, they didn't want it. So. Wow. So how long has it been sitting in the storage? Uh, it's always been sitting in storage. So yeah. How long has it been in here? In here. Yeah. Ooh. Quite a number of years. Really? But I've been able to take it out. And yeah? It. When's the last time it's been on the road? Uh, not too long ago. Not too long ago? Wow. Not too long ago, Bob. Let's see, 67. Uh, I don't even know what engine that would be. I'm going to say it's the big 400. I'm going to say 500 Qs. Uh huh. Which would be about three, maybe 390 horsepower. Wow. I just wish I could have, like, started it for you. Yeah. Well, I brought a jumper pack. We can give it a give it a whirl just to see what happens. Well, you know, I tried to. Do you have a pack? You want to? Yeah, I got a pack. Let me see what happens. Look at that Cadillac and Boston the valve covers. That's cool. So I just never heard to see what happens, huh? What I would do is. So it's just not cranking. She'll she'll crank. Oh, well, crank. oh it cranks. It won't start. And now we we can't even get it to crank if we can't get the. Uh, uh huh. Sit in there, Bob. Let me check this out. Yeah, I do got to check this out. Go sit in that thing. It reminds me, my brother, uh, my oldest brother, he loved black Cadillacs back in the day, and he always had black Cadillacs. I figured you'd be the guy to help me find a buyer. Yeah, that is really, really cool. Put the odometer on it, too, brother. Is that right? 42,000 miles, is that right? That's all original. My goodness. Everything's wow. Original on the car. That is cool. We do have a few little issues. Uh-huh, of course. You know, I'd be happy to tell you about them. Yeah, old car. Old car. Oh, you got the key? The thing about this year, uh -huh. uh, was 
the headlights. Yeah. They had the automatic headlights. Okay. I don't know if you know anything about caddies. Are you talking about, um, let me get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Are you talking about the automatic dimming or something? Yes. Yeah, they had the sensor. Right. Yeah. That yeah, was, I think eye. that was the only thing that was like. That's crazy. And, of course, bottle, original. Oh one my one. goodness. <laughs> that is so cool. And you know, it has electric antenna. Uh huh. And all of that. Let's see, I didn't have this on. That's neat. I mean, it's got, you know. I mean, it's got some patina on it as well. It should be in an original car. Yep. That so is really cool. The gentleman that had the car, he bought it off of a uh, Dick Spraker. Uh -huh. He used to own v uh, VW Imports. Okay. It was his personal car. He bought this for his wife. Uh huh. She hardly even drove the thing. <laughs> it's and when they took pretty it out big of, car. Yeah. You know, as a matter of fact. Um, it was pretty much in his garage all the time. Yeah. I would just clean it, tune it for him. Wow. We would just start it up, we would drive it. That is yeah. really cool. Looks like that new Brakemaster cylinder. Yeah. I think, what else did we put on, Rick? I think we put on an old cylinder. Uh -huh. uh, so starter. you say it cranks over now? Yeah. Well, well, it should. It did? Like oh, well, let me get my jumper pack and see what you we can do. Yeah, hold on. All right, well, let's see what happens here. Let's see here. Got my pack on. Oh my god. It just fired right up. Starts and stalls. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the car cranks, but he uh it's not getting fuel. Well I hit it one time, see what happens. Oh, it tried. Oh man, will it stay running? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's trying, it wants to start. Put some more gas in that car. Okay, let me, uh, let me, let me hit that here. Hold on. Let me put the spark around this thing. Yeah. I guess we'll hit it again here, see what happens. Yeah, so it's it's not getting fuel is the deal. Yeah. Right. I mean the fuel pumps they kinda right. It's not an electric fuel pump. So, yeah, so sure I tried to get around and dig around. Yeah, you know. yeah, sometimes getting electric can kind of help boost the uh, mechanical pump or whatever. Mm -hmm. I had to put a mechanical pump in our Mercury; it, it died. But uh, yeah, well, I mean, it sounds like it wants to run. She does. <laughs> That's cool. What's that? The climate control. Yeah. Okay, so what I did was I put a fan down here. Uh -huh. There's a switch to turn this fan. So you made it manual, basically? I did. Because the automatic section wasn't working? Right. So yeah. I checked it out, and the only thing that needs to be done, because I took the whole thing apart, Yeah. you need to just replace the panel itself. Okay. Okay? Everything else works. It's just the panel that, you know, would need to probably be done. Yeah. To take it off the manual. Hopefully you can find places that can, you know, rebuild it, because well, you know, just replacing it... That's an option, too. Is, is a... Because then you have to go inside. Parts on these old cars can get really tricky to find. Did you know what I like, Bob? These ashtrays back here? Yeah. Did you see these? Oh, wow. These ashtrays. Look at that. <laughs> a different era, isn't it? It is. And when you get back in here, I did a couple of weddings for some of my friends. Yeah. That was a hit. <laughs> well, was that cool or what? <laughs> I really like that Cadillac. I do like the Cadillac. So John, I've made him an offer, and John is going to go talk to his wife. And uh, and then let me know. So I'll get out of here. <laughs> and hopefully I'll be coming back with my trailer and picking up this Cadillac. I'm telling you, I'm going to drive that Caddy. That is boss. That is, that is Mac Daddy car right there. So stay tuned. We will be... Hopefully the next... Uh, clip is me headed from the house with the trailer. Stay tuned. Bye bye, John.
Well, we are back. It's exactly one week later. I've got Becky with me here, and uh, I've been kind of going back and forth with this customer on the Cadillac oh, all yeah. week long, yep. and uh, it's a crazy scenario. He wants me to have the car, and I really want the car, but it's just a matter of dollars and cents. <laughs> so, As it, always. So, you know, we've been kind of messaging back and forth, and I and Becky hadn't seen the car, so I'm like, you know, I'd like for Becky to see the car, especially when you're, you know, buying an old car that's quite a bit of money. You know, it's like, well, I'll get your opinion on the car and oh see what boy. you think. You know, but uh, but yeah, so um, so I kind of used it as an excuse to go see the car again. I was like, hey, you know, you know, Becky wants to see the car, so we can we come see it again. And uh, and anyway, so we set up a time, exact same time as last week. Um, what's interesting though is this, this is something new to the story. Uh, he actually got the car out of the storage and he fired it up and uh, got it running and drove it over to his house. And nice. then, it, and then uh, the starter acted up again, so now it's stuck in his driveway. Oh, <laughs> so uh, one, one good sign for us maybe, he said if we wanted to, to bring a trailer. So I yeah. kind of got a feeling, you know, maybe they've decided to let it maybe go. Maybe it's time. Uh, maybe it's time, you know. And so one thing, I don't want to look too anxious. And the other thing is, is the truck's hooked to the horse trailer. Yeah. You have some kind of panels on the car trailer, right? Yes, some kind of panels. So it does double duty. It hauls well, cars and absolutely. does horse stuff. So. But I'm just saying, you know, we don't want to go through a bunch of hoops. Right. And he's only 15 minutes away from us, right. even his house. Right. So it's kind of like, I mean, if, if you know. But I got a funny feeling, like we may be driving it out of there today. Wow, that's that's cool. kind of my goal. That's my hopes and plans. So we are on the way to the customer's house and uh, see if we can get this Cadillac bought. And uh, I, I, I'm ready to drive it. Well, I bet I you am, are. You talk ready. about it quite a bit, I so know. you must be. I'm ready to drive it. So uh, cross your fingers, everybody. Next stop, Cadillac. Ac, 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 ac. <laughs> Wow, it's really cool back here, Becky. Yeah, this is neat. I, I mean, we go by this. Look, there's Kellogg okay, right there ahead of us. We go by this every day. But I've never really been back in here. I mean, How it's cool been is here that? Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh oh, Becky. There it is. Oh, boy. Oh, there's Elwood's Cadillac. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Wow. That's got presence, doesn't it? It does. That's pretty cool. Wow. J -J Look at that. That oh, that's cool. It's kind of weird to think about. Oh, that. that's cool. Well, let's check it out, babe. Uh, <laughs> look at you. Uh, You've already seen the car. I oh, yeah. Yeah, he's playing around with it a little bit. Oh, he's getting the door for you, Becky. Oh, he's really trying to put the sails on us now. <laughs> oh, wow. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to see what it looked like. Yeah. A little, a little buff. So what it, what the my guys do is they do like a three stage compound and they actually polish it. You know what I mean? Yes. And uh and it'll take like all those little scratches out. I mean those these, these they're not going anywhere. No. Yeah. No, that's part of the car. That's part of the car. Yeah. Tag there. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> what do you think, Becky? <laughs> yep, pretty cool ride. I love those big old tail lights, man. Okay, well let's let's see he's doing putting the super sales on Becky here. Let me let me get in this thing and see see what she thinks. <laughs> we had a what did we have, Becky? We had a '64. What color would like to have? What's that? Like to have a '62. Yeah. What is that one we had? We had an old Cadillac years ago. Remember? I yeah, don't remember what it was. I, I know. Yeah. yeah, it smelled the same as this. Yeah, <laughs> it smelled the same. Oh, nope, got power seat here. You have power seats. Power windows. <laughs> well, there's a headliner back power seat. Brakes, power seat. Man. Very cool. Well, what do you think of this thing, Becky? Pretty neat. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, it's a, of a of a different time. Yeah. Hey, look at you. <laughs> look here. <laughs> hey, look here. Did you? Okay, you. Did you plan this? Look at this. 
I didn't even well, know. know. See, something's something's going Becky, on here. Commercial Becky, they could stay. But I know. Bob, no. Well, I think Becky would want those. Yeah, that's funny. A little fuzzy dice. She likes fuzzy fuzzy dice. dice. <laughs> it's kind of appropriate, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I just feel bad that. So I had it run. I drove it all the way to yeah. the store. She was running so beautifully. Yeah. I turned it off. No, no, she said no. Bob. No, no crank. She's like, no, yeah. she'll crank, Bob, but she won't. Crank, but wouldn't start. Yeah. I'll be darned. Oh, look here, this is for the quarter windows, Becky. The, look, they're manual. They're, oh see, see, isn't that funny? Yeah. So funny. Yeah. So you got power windows, but those yeah, are manual. Yeah, those are manual. Oh, and you know what I what? think they call them, Bob? I think that they call sense. them like little opera windows. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, kind of, for them to be <laughs> manual. The little vent windows. Yeah, little vent windows. Mm -hmm. But everything else is manual. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, and the reason I wanted to get it out, because... Now, Bob knows what he's looking at in the garage, but you got to get it outside to really... <laughs> right. Yeah, it. for sure. When he said you were coming over, I said, got to get it out. Yeah. Yeah, look at the jams. Holy yeah. cow. Look at the jams. I just wish it was running. <laughs> well, Becky, uh, I mean, you know, it's going to take some money in the right. car. and. I don't know, I mean, obviously he's had it since 71, so obviously there's a sentimental attachment there. Oh yeah. And I can appreciate that. I can totally you know? appreciate that. But I gotta be sensible about it too, right, right. you know, cause I mean, because you know, I get emotional in these cars and I end up yes. putting, I mean, I end up taking these cars and I put lots of money in these cars, even right. money I don't need to put in it right. just because I love, I love resurrecting cars. And getting you know? them back to their former glory. Oh, so, I mean, we've kind of made our final offer and you know, at this point it's kind of like, you know, I, yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah. it's in his court yeah. and he knows that, I, but I've let him know that, you know, yeah. it's, our, it's our final offer and yeah. uh, you know, just let us know it's in the driveway. So he may call us back on an hour or he may not call us back at all, so. That's where I get my hair cut, so I see yeah. him. So I, oh, even yeah. he may, uh, yeah, so I don't know. So maybe now. this is the one that got away or, you know, who knows what'll happen in the, in the near or distant future. So, yeah. um, <laughs> so stay tuned. I guess stay tuned. Maybe. I mean, you know, so I guess, you know, this could kind of be a, you know, all these videos that we show, you know, of, of success. Well, I mean, this is maybe one of those videos where, yeah. um, you know, you just don't quite come together. Right. And that's the reality of this business, you it know? Is. It, and yeah. so it's good to see, you know, sometimes you try and you try and you try and it just, for whatever reason, it's just not the right time or, or not the right moment or whatever. So, well, we appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. I'm back. Oh, it's been uh, about a couple of weeks or so since I last left the Cadillac. And uh, the gentleman said that he got it running and he wants me to come by and take a look at it and drive it. So now I get to drive it. I've never had a, a buy that's been uh, that's been broken up to so many parts, but I'm headed that way. So check this Here out. we are. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to drive this thing. Oh, look at it peeking around the corner. Oh man, oh man, there it is, what a beauty. I'm enjoying this guy here, I just bought this 06 530 with only 50,000 miles on it. Look at that color, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm always in all different cars, but let's talk Cadillac, holy cow. Uh, I get to drive it for the first time. Let me go in and say hi to John and get the key. So on this, all you really got to do is just barely touch it. Just barely touch it. So yeah, just the starter solenoid was bad? Right, that solenoid oh, was bad. Man. So well, when you just touch it. Look at that. This thing gets like 30 miles a gallon? <laughs> you wish. <right? laughs> Sounds you good. You know you don't buy these cars to oh, get 30 miles a gallon. You know, and you know, these cars, you take them out occasionally. I you am know, so glad to get it out. You know, I've been dying to drive oh, it. Oh, man. I drove it all day yesterday. Did you? So oh, happy. good. That's well, you good. know, I, I just felt like it needed to be run, and it right. hasn't been driven in a while. Yeah. So, the worst thing to do is let them sit, and they just deteriorate. Exactly. You know? And then, you know, when you drive them, you know, you do then things do pop up, but at least you address them and stay on top of them. Exactly. So last night, yeah, I was like a little kid. I'm going through all the fluids. <laughs> I went through the engine. I'm cleaning stuff. Yeah. It just it just got me a little energized to do these oh, things. Oh, well, good. You know. Yeah, so, it's a neat old car. It's smooth. First drive. 
Yeah, I wanted you to see, you know, whether you buy the car or not, doesn't matter, but right. I want you appreciate a car yeah. and you wanted to drive it. I said, I'm Absolutely. gonna let him drive it. Absolutely, man, it's, it's smooth. It runs good. And what I wanted to do too is I wanted to burn up the uh, gasoline. Right. And that see, that's the other put thing. Put some new gas in. Yeah. Well, and the good news on this car, it won't take very long. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it will take this. Yeah. There's okay, I want to tell you something about yeah. the directional. Horn. <laughs> yeah. The directional, I'm going to have to replace. Yeah, because it's not holding. Right. right. So you got to hold that down when yeah. you're turning. Yeah. I mean, you know, hey, it's an old car. What Thank you. Do, right? You understand. Yeah. I mean, I wish I was in as good a shape as this car. <laughs> me too. This, this is the old stomping grounds for me. Oh wow! This really? We're in McDonald's. Oh yeah, it's kind of funny. I just kind of, I just kind of pulled in just inadvertently. It's okay. And then kind of checking That's it cool. out. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? There we are. The only thing I don't like about the car uh -huh. when you're backing up, I'm so used to a mirror. Uh, yeah, not having that passenger yeah, mirror makes it kind of tricky. Any of that. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of cars, you know. What's funny is I got a little 69 Fiat 600, and it doesn't have either mirror. <laughs> so so how do you crazy. do that? I mean, you either got a ripping mirror, then you turn around and look. Well, see, they probably didn't even have mirrors yeah. in those days. <laughs> so does the clock work, do you know? No, I don't think the clock works. Probably not. I mean, that's typical. Yeah. Usually one of the first things to go on these old cars. Yeah. So, but you know, I do have a buddy. And if I can get together with him, he said he'd do my radio. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's the tube radio. Yeah. And he said, John, even if I can't do the tube, I'll upgrade it and mm -hmm. it'll make it. I said, I gotta do that. But, <laughs> you know, it's like everything. Yeah. So I you got this car in 1971. Uh, let's see, no, not in 71. I got it in 70, probably three, I'm thinking. Three, okay. Somewhere in the early right. 70s. And you got it from the original owner? Actually, the second owner. The second owner. The guy who owned it, and I don't know if you remember his name. His name was Dick Spraker. Okay. Dick Spraker owned VW Imports. Okay. If you remember that. Well, it was his personal car. So my neighbor went there looking I'm for. Give us some gas here. Yeah. See Just what she'll do. Yeah. She hasn't been out very much. Yeah, it so needs kind of opened I'm up. I'm going to be taking bit. her out and driving her. <laughs> what were you saying now? Uh, let's see, where was the I owner? The previous oh, owner? Yeah. yeah. So, what he did, he was going to buy a car for his wife. Mm -hmm. He wanted a certain Cadillac. Mm -hmm. They didn't have it. So, guess what? This was his personal car. He bought this one for his really? wife. Really? And this was a coupe. Uh-huh. So, and that's how, our, this car is originally from Kansas City. Oh, wow, that's cool. The name of the uh, dealership was called Roach Cadillac. <laughs> yeah, it's still got the emblem. Yeah, it's still got the emblem. Yeah. So... The original owner from there came here, second, I'm the third owner. But, you know, with the miles and everything, they never even drove the car. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I got it at, what did it have, 30, maybe 35,000 on it or okay. something like that. So and you I, haven't even put 10,000 miles on it. I haven't even put hardly anything oh, on my goodness. it. We don't drive it that much other than, you know, yeah. nice days. I did a couple of weddings with it, you know. Right. I'd like to maybe I had it in a parade, you know, little mm -hmm. things like that. But sure, she is pretty wide up front, though. Isn't mm -hmm. it? Oh yeah, Bob, you have to. Oh yeah, you're probably used to big cars anyway. Yeah, I drive all kinds of stuff you guys, from huge cars to little bitty right, cars. Right. right. Well, what's your preference, though? I just you like a bigger on, car. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Right. You know, that's what's fun. Well, I, you, I love, I love all different cars. Let so, me look at my shirt here. You know. Yeah, I want to see some of you. I want to see your collection. Oh, you I'd got, be happy to take you out. Do you have a Bentley? Uh, I had one, but I sold it about two years ago. I'm trying to get my brother-in-law. He likes these older. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, Nomads. And I said, for what are you going to spend for a Nomad? Let's go get a Bentley. <laughs> there you go. With low miles and you'd love it. You just want something yeah. to take the family out for a drive. Yeah. They're cool, but they're a little scary when it comes to parts, though. That's really? the reason I got rid of it. Yeah, because you can't get so many parts, and the ones that you can are so expensive. And it right. made me a little nervous, so I got rid of yeah. it. Yeah. But it was a beautiful car. You I should, like them. You would have loved it. I'll have to show I, you a picture of it. I love them. It was an 01 Bentley oh, Arnage. See? It was, it, was a, the la it was actually the last hand-built Bentley uh, when it was still Bentley and Roll. See, now that gets me fired yeah, up. And it was dark. Like that. And it was like a dark, dark uh, purple. Right? Oh, oh my God. You, it was a gorgeous car with like a with like a, a light 
cream biscuit interior. Wow. It was beautiful. What way do I go here, John? Left. Left? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this will be central. Take you right back. Yeah. Yeah, that was a beautiful car. We That's what we did. We take it to dinner and this, yes, this and so that. So I saw it at Sherwin and Bentley's and he said, you know what? He said, they're fairly good. They're, they're priced pretty reasonable. I said, yeah, but. Yeah, they're yeah, priced yeah. reasonably because everybody's afraid of them. Exactly. You know, because of the repair costs and stuff. But they are neat. Yes. They are neat. But yeah, like I said, everything from a giant car to, this would be funny. I had to put the Fiat next to this. You know what I mean? Because it'd be like one of the biggest cars next to one of the smallest cars. Wouldn't that be a funny... Uh, How many Fiats could yeah. you fit? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a tiny little That's car. It's so funny. cute, though. We just got it. Yeah, I love it, though. It's so cute. So much fun to drive. It just puts a smile on everybody's face. See, and that, that's the beauty about cars. You, you don't have to own them to appreciate them, yeah. but to drive them. Yeah, right. Yeah, so you just took this thing out pretty rarely then, huh? Pretty rarely. You know, pretty much special occasions. And mm -hmm. I know Joanne, my wife, she hadn't seen it in so long. Mm -hmm. I had it out there, and she goes, oh my gosh, it really does look pretty nice. Like, it doesn't look nice. <laughs> We've kept it undercover, you know? I've made my final offer on the car. He said he's got somebody coming to look at it, so I can't, uh, you know, really <laughs> do anything about that. So um, we'll uh, we'll just see what happens. Uh, we'll either be getting it here shortly or we won't. So <laughs> this is a uh, it's been fun. It's been a fun adventure. So uh, I guess to be continued. I'm back. <laughs> well, I think today is the day. Um, this is a, this has been a fun adventure. I think this is the most uh, multiple day timelines I've ever done in a video before. This has uh, gone on for uh, I don't know a month or more, but uh, that's all right. That's uh, you know sometimes these deals. Actually, I've been kind of working on this deal for over a year. Uh, when the, the gentleman first reached out to us about selling the car, so uh, but that's all right. I mean, I understand. You know, it uh, it's hard to get rid of something that you've had for <laughs> 50 years. But uh, I just got a text, and uh, they've decided that they're going to go ahead and go forward uh, with selling me the car. And you know, they I think they kind of want to see what uh, what I can do with the car and. and they know I'm going to give it a lot of love and, and attention that it is deserved. So I've garnered my best 1967 era <laughs> Cadillac. <laughs> I guess maybe it's 1967 on the Vegas Strip or something like that. But I've decided to bring out the old hat, you know, like, and uh, uh, it looks look like I might come from Florida. <laughs> I am on the way to the Wizards. One millionth subscriber party. So everybody, Car Wizard, like and subscribe. It's awesome. You reached a million subscribers, and uh, couldn't be happier for him and more proud. And he, he couldn't be more deserving. He works really, really hard. So I'm on the way to his party right now, and then after the party, I'm gonna go pick up the Cadillac. <laughs> I'm excited. Left the Wizards party. That was a lot of fun. So great to hang out with the guys and and congratulate the Car Wizard on such an amazing accomplishment. One million subscribers. Absolutely incredible. I'd be I'd be uh, stoked to hit a hundred thousand. <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think uh, I just can't even fathom a million subscribers. Yeah, so a hundred thousand of me would be like a million. But anyway, so one reason you'll notice that uh, Becky is not with me to the party is because she was on baby watch. Zoe uh, was extremely pregnant. Becky took her to the vet yesterday and early this morning Zoe had her baby, a little colt. 
So Becky's tending to the baby this morning while I went to the party, and now she is back at the house. So I'm gonna pick her up and uh, go see John. We got Becky with us. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, hey. So we're. What's usually going on? Yeah, we're, we're, we're like headed to get the Cadillac. Finally, the day like is here. This morning. Yeah. So tell us about. Uh, I told them that you had a little, uh, a little. Uh, Biscuit, uh, you know, Biscuit. come out of the oven this morning. Tell yeah. us about your little baby. Yeah, he's cute. I have had him at the clinic, the vets. Luckily, I took her in yesterday, and she had it this morning. So Boy, that doesn't usually, usually work out that way. It usually doesn't work out like that. Usually, they're either standing up there forever, or... You can never time it. Or they just have it here, and I'm not expecting it, so... Yeah, you go out in the morning, and then you got a horse early on the ground. Right. You know, or you take it to the vet, and it sits there for two weeks. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the first time I've ever had one take it, and then it has it that night. That, so yeah, that's great. Yeah. We, were up, we were up till, like, what, about 1 o'clock in the morning last night? Yeah, you know, watching the camera. Just kind of watching TV and watching the camera. What time did, was it born? 7.15 this morning. This morning, early this morning. All yeah, right. Luckily, they were all there at the clinic, so that they all got some sleep probably last night. That's so. cute. Well, we're rushing. We got some... Uh, weather coming in so we got to get this car picked up and get it tucked away at shift and get everything it's typical kansas spring uh, spring weather so yeah. let's go get this car and get it grab it and get it go it's going to go in my the only place it would fit would be in my prime spot at shift well it started to sprinkle on us a little bit so let's get this uh look he's probably got it in the garage yeah. <laughs> didn't want to get it wet uh let's get this guy picked up and tucked away at shift. No, it barely fits in there, huh? John, do I look like a Cadillac driver? <laughs> what do you think? How do you like my outfit, sir? I, I think you're ready for the Blues Brothers. <laughs> hey, he falls up there, hey, where's the caddy? Remember that, right? Yeah. I had to sell the caddy. <laughs> yeah, Jake, uh, Jake uh, would be proud of this one, wouldn't he? <laughs> By the way, I had it out two or three times and I pulled it back. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. I wanted to get wet. Yeah, right, so. I'm going to take, take it over to shift and, uh, and then uh, we'll wipe it all down well, and it'll sit. Run. Just put it away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Becky's got everything you need. I'll tell you what, come, come in the house. All right, let's yeah. do that. I think you better come around the front. You <laughs> okay. come around well, that thing barely fits, doesn't it, John? Oh, baby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gotta leave the dice, huh? Yeah. See, especially since I got my Vegas, uh, 60s Vegas Rat Pack outfit on, right? <laughs> John's pulling it out of the garage for us. So oh, you, boy. You've... And it's raining. Yeah. I don't know if she's seen that. Oh, we'll get, it, we'll get it tucked away and dried Hopefully off. Hopefully the wipers will work. Yeah, we ain't going very far. Here it goes. Look at that front end. Wow. Listen to that. What a majestic machine. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that thing's crazy. Hey, John, stop right there. Right there. Yeah, park it right there. I wanted Becky to take our picture. <laughs> that is incredible. That is gorgeous. All right, now I look a little more appropriate. Man, these wipers are just wiping nice and the blades are even soft and good. Man, John, thank you so much. Uh, it's an honor to, to, you know, buy this car from you and, and uh, be able to enjoy it and, uh, you know, and you know, give it some love that it uh, that it deserves. Although you've done an amazing job of taking care of this car, so I am so so tickled about this guy. Just such an awesome machine. Um, gonna go take it over to shift right now and tuck it away, and then get uh, get started. Have the uh, wizard fix a few of the little things here. Um, I think we talked about the radio, so I'll probably pull it out, have it uh, rebuilt, and a couple little things on the climate control. But I mean, this car is in such great shape and and uh, such great running condition. It is awesome. 
<laughs> I was trying to beat the rain, but we didn't beat it, but we don't have any bad weather coming in until a little bit later, so I'll have time to get it, uh, get it tucked away nice and cozy at shift. So, well, hey, you guys be sure to stay tuned and follow along this car uh, while we uh, resurrect it and get it all polished out and get it all tip top and uh, I'm going to enjoy driving this thing. So appreciate you guys watching. Um, always appreciate you like and subscribe and uh, have a great day and happy motoring. Look at that. As soon as I started driving, the sun came out, the rain stopped, the, the, the skies are parting, making room for the Cadillac. Oh, it's interesting. This car is a 67. Uh, I just kind of enjoying driving this thing down the road and just kind of soaking it all in. And I just kind of realized that, you know, this car is just only two years older than I am. <laughs> so we're about the same age. Oh, wow. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, getting old, but man, oldie but goldie, that's for sure. What a fantastic car. Enjoying the drive, it's so, so smooth. I'm gonna have fun playing with this thing and getting all of it, learning about all of its little controls and everything. It'll be a lot of fun, so gonna enjoy this one. The Ferrari is getting booted to make room for the Cadillac, because it needs a lot of room. <laughs> Let's put the Ferrari over there under the 450 SLC and Guess I'll take the prelude home.